Well, I was three years old. I kept falling down. The doctors told my parents, take him to ice skate. I hated cold. To this day, I hate cold. I took tap till I was six or seven, saw ballet, fell in love with ballet, fell in love with ballerinas, went to, uh, I left home at 13 because there was nothing here in Christie's for me. And I went on a scholarship to Hartness at SMU. Then I went to the University of North Carolina School of the Arts, went straight to New York with American Ballet Theater, retired at 22, which is not that unusual for a male dancer. Came back here, met a person who owned a dance studio, Michelle, and I love it. Been here ever since. My name is Kevin Self. I'm the artistic director for the Las Cruces Chamber Ballet, and I'm also owner of Michelle's Dance Academy. Well, the Las Cruces Chamber Ballet is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. They have a full board of directors, and they've been in existence for, I think this is their 31st year. Uh, they, their principal goal is to provide a, an opportunity for young artists, dancers specifically, in Las Cruces to get to perform. They are the vehicle by which most of the dancers that we have here at Michelle's Dance Academy get to perform. So it's really a great um, relationship that we have with them. Michelle's Dance Academy is an LLC, and we provide for the Las Cruces Chamber Ballet free rehearsal time, free rehearsal space, free choreography, and free um, management construction here in the, in the studio. So really, the Chamber Ballet is sort of a, a nebulous entity without the structure of Michelle's Dance Academy. The Chamber Ballet is funded strictly through donations and ticket sales. They do not receive any government grants of any sort. They're not subject to any sort of restrictions in that respect. So the people that actually want to see dance on stage are the ones that give money and facilitate the Chamber Ballet. To actually be in the Chamber Ballet is a select group of older girls, and they've had to have gone through uh, years of, of ballet, then at least two years of point work, which means on the actual toe shoes, and they have to then, of course, audition and have the proficiency in order to dance with others and as soloists. Dance provides a vehicle that I don't care if they end up dancing, but if you can develop the discipline to overcome those things or simply develop discipline, then discipline becomes an incredible tool in life. And you can really do just about anything you want if you put your mind to it. Watching those young children go through each stage, and we, we've had them here until from three years on all the way through college, and watching them grow and mature and become whole people and through an artistic endeavor which really has a, a, a much broader appeal I think. Our biggest production is the Nutcracker and like I say we've done that this will be our 31st year of doing the Nutcracker. Uh, that's just an opportunity for the public to see what these children have been working on so hard all these years. But we also have an outreach program where we do demonstrations in the schools. Well it's hard to see direct return on it but all you have to do is look at their faces and honestly, sometimes we'll, we'll go to do one at a school and I'll see them in dance schools the following year. Then I'll see them in Nutcracker the year after that. So there's a progression and it's kind of slow sometimes, but there is a reward in it. It's getting harder and harder to encourage uh, people to volunteer, especially if they don't have a direct return for like having a child in the production. We do have those kind of people and as a matter of fact, we're, letting, we're lo losing one of our most uh, strident supporters um, Harry McCaffrey has been with us for 25 years. He's our production manager, and he'll be retiring this year. And he hasn't had a child in the, in the show for 20 years. But he would just give of his time every year to make sure the production happened. And it's not an easy position because you have all those that you have to bring together. And Harry's pretty tough about it. But I, I have to stress that nobody, including myself or the ballet people involved, gets paid to do the chamber ballet work not a soul. Every dollar that's given to the Chamber Ballet goes back towards the production and the children's opportunity. So yes, I, we always need more volunteers and all they have to do is call us. And we always have a place for them. Area code 575-527-1893. We have the website is in conjunction with Michelle's Dance Academy. If you go to michellesdanceacademy.biz, the Chamber Ballet has a, a page included in there and there's a lot of information there. But I would be happy to, to sit down with anyone if they have questions and chat with them about the Chamber Ballet. I, we're very, very proud that it's, it's what it is and so I, you won't be able to shut me up, so just give me a call. <laughs>